Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Quick fact, several years ago, the first company I became affiliated with was Topaz Labs. I really love their plugins, and at that time I did several videos on them. Well, over the years, they really just did incremental updates to those plugins, and I really didn't see the need to keep doing videos on them. Until maybe 12 to 18 months ago, they really did major updates to their plugins and they came out with some new product and many of their plugins now have the power of artificial intelligence or AI. So it's really well past time for me to do new videos on them because my old videos aren't relevant anymore. Now we're gonna start out talking about Denoise AI. I've said in the past that in my opinion, Denoise is the best software available for removing noise from an image and Denoise AI just takes it one step further. Now you could use it as a standalone product. You could drop a raw file into it. It reads raw files, remove the noise from the raw file, then export that raw file as a DNG file. And of course, a DNG file is a raw file, so you could keep that raw integrity throughout the noise reduction process. Well, in this first video, we're going to use it as a plugin. And the reason why I wanna use it as a plugin is because in Lightroom, I could take an image such as this that was shot at super high ISO, an ISO of 12,800. I processed it in Lightroom, and if I zoom in, you can see there's still a lot of noise in it. If I go to the Details tab and turn off the noise reduction and sharpening I actually did to it in Lightroom, you can see it has a ton of noise. This is shot, again, at 12,800 ISO. So I did this processing in Lightroom. What I've done is I created a virtual copy of this file there's no processing done at, it all, at all. We're gonna send this over into Denoise, remove the noise with Denoise, bring it back into Lightroom. Then I'm going to copy the processing from this file minus the detail tab. I won't copy any of this. And then we'll have a real apples to apples comparison uh, to see how Denoise did. Now, a couple things. When you're removing noise with an external editor, it's best to do it as early in your processing workflow as possible because often much of your processing enhances the noise and it makes it more difficult to remove. That's why this uh, virtual copy has no processing done on it at all. So we're gonna send the virtual copy over there with no processing on it. We're gonna remove the noise, then I'm gonna copy the processing after the fact. Also, it's best to send the image as full resolution. This image I probably would crop. I would pull down a little bit from the top because there's really too much space above the gorilla's head. But I'm going to send it as is, uncropped, over into Denoise to remove the noise. Denoise will do a better job when it has more pixels to look at. So we're not gonna crop any of them away. We could crop later. So. We have this virtual copy. Now, unfortunately, when you use Denoise AI as a plugin, you can't send over the raw file. You have to send it over as a TIFF, a PSD, or a JPEG. I'm going to send it over as a TIFF. Now, if you really want to keep that raw integrity throughout the process, I could export this raw file from Lightroom as a raw file, drop it into Denoise, remove the noise, export it as a DNG, of course, it's still a raw file, then re-import that DNG into Lightroom, it's a little bit too much work for this video. So we're just going to send this over as a TIFF file. So I'm gonna right click on it. We're gonna go down to Edit In, and we're gonna go down to Topaz Denoise AI. Now I mentioned I'm gonna send it as a TIFF, and I did mention you could send it as a PSD and a JPEG as well. We're gonna use Profoto RGB, 16 bits per component, a resolution of 300, compression none. We're gonna click Edit. Now Lightroom is going to create a TIFF file from this virtual copy of the raw file. It's going to open in Denoise. Now, right away, Denoise is going to um, add a default amount of noise reduction to the image, and it's generating this preview. Whenever I move the image or I move any of these sliders over here, it's going to generate the preview, and it's going to take up several seconds. So you don't have to sit through that. Whenever I do that, I'm just going to jump the video ahead or fast forward the video so you don't have to see it. So it did a default amount of noise reduction. If I go to the before after, there's before and there's after, before, after. Now it did a decent job, but it's not great. But typically for the view, I like to view like something that needs to be sharp and have a, no noise in it, which would be the gorilla's face and eyes. 
And I like to see the background because the background has a lot of noise. So I could go to the navigator and just move this box or I could just drag directly on the image. Now, as soon as I let go of my left mouse button, it's going to generate that preview again. You could avoid this by clicking this auto update preview box um, off, taking that check mark away, but you'll never really see what you're doing. So we have to have that on. So I'll let it generate the preview. We'll jump ahead and I'll rejoin you. Now, when you use Denoise AI, you actually have the choice of two different AI networks. By default, when it opens up, it's going to be in the Denoise AI AI network. You also have the choice of AI clear. Denoise AI gives you a little finer control over the noise reduction process. AI clear doesn't have as much control, but it may be a bit easier for you. All you need to do to remove noise is choose one of three buttons, low, medium, or high. You can enhance the sharpness with two buttons, low and high. You could recover the details by moving the slider to the right. So if it's a little bit too soft, try moving that slider to the right. Also at the very bottom on both the Denoise AI and the AI Clear is a color noise reduction slider. So if you have red, green, or blue dots, move that to the right to get rid of those. Now you could just auto detect settings, click that, and it will use its artificial intelligence to examine the entire image and then use the correct amount of noise reduction and sharpening for it. You also have that in the Denoise AI. Now I prefer to use the Denoise AI. It has a little finer control. It uses a different, again, a different AI network, and I think it works a little better in my opinion. Now, unfortunately, when you do click auto detect settings, the color noise reduction isn't part of that. So you're always on your own with the color noise reduction slider. Now in this case, I'm just going to click auto detect settings. You can see it increased the noise, increased the sharpening. It didn't do much here for recover original detail and it's generating the preview. All right, it's done. Now let's see what it did. There's the original version and there's the noise reduced version. And I think it did a pretty good job. There's a little bit of noise right along the edge of the gorilla's face on the background. though it's not really on the gorilla. So I could play with the sliders a little bit and try to get rid of that, but I kind of like what it did. Uh, again, there's before and there's after. And there's no color noise here. Now you may have noticed when we were in Lightroom and I turned off Lightroom's noise reduction, there was a lot of color noise. The reason is because I did processing in Lightroom. I turned up uh, saturation in Lightroom. I did some other processing. I added contrast. That enhanced the noise and it brought out that color noise. That's why it's best to do noise reduction early in the workflow like we're doing here. So. I'm going to consider this done. I'm not going to do any color noise reduction. I'm not going to recover any more original detail at all. I think it looks pretty good and I'm going to click save image. And when I do that, um, it will actually now remove the noise from the TIFF file. It's going to save that TIFF file to the original folder it was in and it's going to open up in Lightroom and we'll see it uh, there. And once it's there, I'll copy the processing from that first image over to it. And then we'll do some really examination of it. Now, one thing I'll say real quick is in the description below this video, there'll be a link and you'll be able to download JPEG versions of the original file with nothing done to it. The original file with the Lightroom processing and then the original file that has the denoise processing and then the Lightroom edits added to it. So you could look at it on your own computer and decide for yourself which is better. Now, as I mentioned at the top, the first company I became affiliated with was Topaz Labs. So I am an affiliate for them and I'm able to uh, supply you with a discount code if you wanna purchase it. So in the, dis or in the description below the video, I'll also have a link to that discount code and a link to Topaz Labs if you wanna take advantage of that. Okay, Denoise did its thing and it's opened up in Lightroom. This is that TIFF file with the noise reduced. This is the original Lightroom file that I did the Lightroom edits on. And I wanna copy these edits to that TIFF file. So I'm clicked on the edited file. I'm gonna hold the command key, click on the TIFF file. And then I'm gonna go over here on the right-hand side and click on sync. And I wanna uh, copy everything except sharpening and noise reduction and I'm gonna click synchronize. So now we could have a real um, apples to apples comparison. I'm gonna hit the C key uh, to compare and we'll get 
rid of that bottom panel as well. Now over here on the left is the image that was in Lightroom with Lightroom noise reduction. Over here on the right is the image with denoise noise reduction. And I'm going to zoom in and move it over this way. You can see the Lightroom image on the background has a lot of noise and you can see there's noise on the gorilla's eye. Now if you look over here, it removed all that noise. It still has that tiny bit of noise at the edge of the gorilla's face. But you can see there's a lot more detail. You can see the skin detail of the gorilla over here that you really can't see over here. I mean, you could see actually the pores of the gorilla's face over here and you really can't see them over here. So in my opinion, uh, Denoise really blew the Lightroom noise reduction out of the water. Now again, uh, in the description below the video, you could download JPEG versions of all three images. So it's again going to be the image with nothing done on, to it at all, the image that was totally processed in Lightroom, then the image that had the noise reduced in Topaz, but the rest of the processing done in Lightroom. And you could see for yourself which one is better. Now again, in the description below the video, I'll have a discount code available. I think it's 15% if I remember right for Topaz Labs. It's good on any other product. So you could check that out. Um, what video for Topaz Labs product, uh, product would you like me to do next? Do you want me to do another um, Denoise AI video, this time using it as a standalone uh, product? Or would you like me to do a different product? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.